It's nice to be back at City Hall. We're not quite there, but at least we can start having our meeting here again. We proceed each council meeting with a word of prayer and a pledge of allegiance. If you would like, please feel free. Ms. Isby, could I get you the word of prayer, please, ma'am? Sure. If you'll bow with me, our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the abundant blessings that you've given us. We just thank you, Lord, for this city that you've blessed us with, and we just ask, Lord, that everything that we say and do tonight uh, glorifies you and that you get the honor that you so deserve. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now I've called this meeting to order. Mr. Garrett, would you call the roll, please, sir? Mr. Lawson. Welcome back, Mr. Garrett. Here. Mr. Grimes? Here. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. Mill? Here. Mr. Ledbetter? Here. Mr. Jones? Here. Ms. Isby? Here. Okay, you should have received minutes from the January 23rd, 2024 City Council meeting. Any corrections, changes, or comments? Make a motion for <clears throat> approval as submitted. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the minutes as submitted. No, any other uh, comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Passes seven to zero. Okay, first up we have a public hearing for a proposed water system rate adjustment for Common Corporation. We'll now declare this public hearing open, public meeting open. We will open with anyone who would like to speak uh, in favor of this. Uh, we'll give you 10 minutes to speak, uh, anyone after you, three minutes, and then we will open the floor to anyone who is opposed to this and let them speak. If you would, when you approach the microphone, state your name and address for the record, please. I'm Aaron Brown, Chief Financial Officer at Conway Corp, 650. Locust here in Conway. I would like to speak in favor of this rate recommendation. So I'll show you this presentation here. So as part of this rate process that we went through, we uh, went through the different rate setting principles. We believe that they should be cost-based and equitable, meet the full revenue requirements, of the utility, which includes operation and maintenance expense, capital expenditures, debt service, and cash reserves. Should be easy to understand and administer. They're generally accepted techniques and stable in providing adequate revenues to meet all of our financial requirements. Factors driving the need for this adjustment. Our last rate proposal that we brought was 2016. We have had inflationary cost increases that have been unexpected over the past few years that I know everyone has been feeling. Our 2024 budgeted operations and maintenance expenses are up 35% compared to 2019. At the time that we brought that rate proposal, we estimated approximately 2 million per year for capital expenditures. Over the past four years, we have been in the three to $4 million range per year. And these, Increases were related to replacing aging infrastructure as we um, went along and with the street improvement. Other factors, prudent financial planning assures adequate reserve levels. The credit rating agencies recommend 150 to 180 days cash on hand, which is approximately $4 million for us. And currently we're sitting at only 62 days. We also want to promote conservation. Currently, our residential rates include a declining block once you exceed 20,000 gallons. We would also act, like to ask to add watershed protection. This will be a new section in the rates that I will discuss more here in just a minute. We have aging water mains that we need to proactively um, cover those needs. We also need to meet the needs of the growing city. I know that Conway was the fastest growing city in Arkansas in 2022. Here are some of our upcoming projects. This rate increase does not contemplate any of these projects in there. We have a water treatment plant expansion of approximately $39 million. We will use retired debt, the funds from those, to cover this project. We are in the process of getting a loan for 1.75%. Um, current rates 
that you would be able to get right now, this would save us approximately $11 million in interest expense. And this also includes $7.5 million in principal and interest forgiveness. And that project is planned for 2024. We're also looking at a new raw water line from Brewer Lake, approximately 25 to 30 million in the 25 to 26 year time frame. And then we're also looking at long-term water supply from Greer's Ferry and a water treatment plant in the Northeast area of Conway in 2030 to 2031. Watershed protection that I mentioned earlier, this includes timber thinning and controlled burning. We have property owners in the area that have agricultural operations. This could help cover land acquisition or conservation easements. Tree planting, we also have a contract with UCA to monitor water quality that has been in place since 2019. As I mentioned earlier, we've had cost increases of approximately 35% from 2019 actuals to our 2024 budget. We did note on the distribution line for 2024, that does include tank painting for $350,000. That does not occur every year. But if you were to take that out, we would still have a 40% increase from 2019 to 2024. We ran our revenue requirements analysis. You can see the revenues up there, an increase of 6.5% to 25, 4.3% to 26. This does contemplate some increases in industrial usage over the next few years. Whenever you look at those uses of funds, the treatment, distribution, accounting and collection, admin and general expenses, then you also look at our capital expenditures and debt service over the next few years. You can see our day's cash on hand does not reach that 150 to 180 day recommendation, which is why we are here this evening. With the 7% rate increase that we are proposing, Again, looking at those same numbers, except with that increase going into effect April 1st, 24, you can see that that gets our day's cash on hand to 122 by the end of 24, and then we reach that 150 day mark by the end of 2025, and we maintain that for the next few years. Looking at the rate design, some key assumptions. We did not propose any changes to our classes of service. So we'll, we'll still, still see residential, commercial, industrial, institutional. All of the rate classes will be receiving equal adjustments of 7% across the board. And we will continue to do rate indexing by consumer price index or 3%, whichever is lower. <clears throat> All of the components, including our customer charge and our consumption charge, will receive equal percentage adjustments. We're also proposing to remove that declining block from the residential rate class over 20,000 gallons of use to help promote that conservation and then also adding that watershed protection. So moving on to the different rate classes, looking at residential, again, 7% across each aspect there. We have the customer charge, which is a fixed charge based on the size of meter you have. And then we have the consumption charge. Again, we did have a declining block. We're proposing removing that. So with the 7% increase, that would be the $4.44, no matter how much usage you have. And looking at benchmarking, currently, if you look at our uh, average customer who uses approximately 5,000 gallons per month, that would be a bill of about $28. With this increase, that would bump it up to $31. So you're looking at approximately a $3 increase. And again, this amount includes the watershed protection fee. So for residential, that would be $1. So that's one of the $3 goes to the watershed. <clears throat> and you can see here, looking at surrounding areas, we've got Beaver Fork, Bologna, Mayflower, Greenbrier. All of those there you can see are higher than our current rates. Um, these rates came from last fall, and we are aware that several of these are considering rate increases themselves. Moving on to commercial and industrial. Again, 7% on the customer charge and 7% on the consumption charge. Also for institutional, customer charge and consumption charge, 7% increase each. 
multifamily rate design, again, 7%. You will notice that the customer charge here is higher. As the name suggests, that's because one meter will be for multiple customers. We have a few other miscellaneous rates. Some people have fire protection systems. We also have hydrant meters. Again, that's 7% across the board. And then the watershed protection fees. You can see that the majority of our customers will receive a $1 per month per meter fee. So you're looking at $12 per year for our residential customers. And we, in our analysis, determined that we needed between three and $400,000 per year to manage our watershed. And this amount gets us to that level. So in conclusion, again, I would just like to stress that this rate adjustment is necessary given the increases in our operations and maintenance expenses, our increased capital expenditures, and again, the replacement of all of our aging infrastructure to help mitigate any potential system issues. We're always planning for future water supply. We feel that that is very critical, especially if we want the city to continue to grow. So I would recommend this rate adjustment as approved by our Conway Corp Board of Directors. Council, do you have any questions for Mr. Brown? Thank you, sir. Would anyone else like to speak in favor? Okay, we'll go. Would anyone like to speak in opposition to this rate increase? Okay, since no one else has come forward for either, we will now declare this public meeting closed. Council will uh, move to the next item. I don't think we vote on that. Just, yeah, nope. Nope. Next up, we have the Economic Development Committee, and uh, we'll start with uh, consideration to approve. I'm sorry, Mr. Hawkins, I'm going to turn this over to you. Uh, that'd be fine, Mr. Mayor. If you'd like to do this, that'd be okay. Oh, you dressed for it tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, it's not very often that uh, Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day come back to back. Mm -hmm. I do have a Mardi Gras bead in the shape of a heart here for all oh, of you that can right. see that. I, I like it. It's colorful. Got to hunt long and hard, Mr. Jones, long and hard. Let's <laughs> see. Um, we are on item B1, consideration to approve waiving all the readings for the ordinances on the uh, council agenda for tonight. Uh, I'll take a motion for waiving the readings. So moved. Second. I have a motion and second to uh, approve waiving all three, all, sorry, waiving all the readings of the council meeting tonight on the agenda. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. That's a seven to zero. Mr. Hawkins. Next item here, Mr. Mayor, is ordinance to approve the proposed water system rate adjustment for Conway Corporation that was just presented to us by Aaron. And, uh, do we have any discussion on this, first of all? Anybody like up here? We didn't have any objection. One, one point, I think, um, and I'm not sure that he mentioned it, but that the... Um, Watershed protection fee can only be used for watershed protection. It can't be used for anything else yes. within Conway Corp. I, I do have one question. Uh, Brett, this may be for you. Did, was it mentioned about placing a, a, a secondary supply line from Brewer Lake to Conway? Yes. Okay. Yes, I, I, yes. I must have missed that. Okay. Oh, I know that, but it's something that the city needs to do. Okay. Thank you. Well, I just want to applaud Cohen Corporation for being proactive as usual in addressing the needs of a growing community. Nothing, honestly, nothing is more important to any community than a clean, safe, dependable source of water. All you have to do is look at the news to see low, uh, examples of that all around the country. Failing infrastructure that hasn't been maintained. Uh, there's one not very far from here in Arkansas that's having a lot of issues with that. And so, if you don't take care of it, uh, you're going to pay a whole lot more later. So. Uh, you in addressing this proactively. You mentioned that Conway is the 
fastest growing city and state, and that's true. In order to keep pace with that, then, then water has to keep pace, or we just will not grow. So, uh, and I do applaud Conway Corporation for working side by side with our street department. Uh, I do understand a lot of this increase was because all the street work we have going on the city, which is going to be ongoing for a while. So, I do this, understand that. This is addressing a nationwide problem. Uh, almost monthly, you'll see some major city that's having extreme problems, some that are not far from us, right across the Mississippi River. Some of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. When it's storm, that's all it's going to do. Mm -hmm. People didn't have water. And then when he finally got it, they had to borrow it for so long. This is, I couldn't imagine us going through that. Mm -hmm. And I should be fortunate that we didn't have to do that. You know, in, in along that line, I've lived here all my life, and I've never remembered having to boil water. Well, I hate to say it, I've been. I will make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance, which I have as ordinance O twenty four O two. I have a motion, a second, to approve uh, this ordinance to uh, to the proposed water rate system rate adjustment for Conway Corporation. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Ms. Mill. Aye. Mr. Jones. Yes. Aye. Uh, Mr. Grimes. Aye. Mr. Ledbetter. Yes. Mr. Cummins. Aye. Uh, Mr. Hawkins. Yes. Ms. Is yes. All right. That was eight. We voted twice. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep going, Mr. Hawkins. That passes seven to zero. You've and I know, I know, Mr. Mr. Hearing aids like mine, sometimes I answer. I know Mr. Carroll's on the weather tonight. Hope he gets to feeling better. Yeah. Mr. Hawkins, just keep on moving. I got ahead of myself again. All right, very good. Next item, Mr. Mayor, is an ordinance to approve the private club permit for Seven Oaks Steak and Seafood located at 1117 Oak Street. And um, we have an ordinance to read for this item. It's ordinance 02403. It's going to be 06, 06. Mr. Hawkins. And is 06. Mr. McReynolds, are you here? Okay. Uh, would you please come up in case the council has any questions for you, sir? I don't know that they will, but we'd like to have you up here. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, just a little bit about what you guys got going. Well, uh, we're going to be doing a, an upscale steak and seafood with a uh, and a fusion with the Arkansas cuisine, some of Cajun cuisine, and uh, some Southwestern bite to it. Uh, I grew up in Louisiana and uh, New Mexico, so uh, I was hired to come out here and get this restaurant open and try to offer a new ex food experience to the city of Conway. Welcome, good. Welcome, Conway. Just so a little throwing in there, a little extra. Uh, we do our own. We raise our own cattle. We process our own cattle, and we'll be uh, hand butchering it in the restaurant mm -hmm. as well. And the seafood will be coming, with the exception of a few items uh, from the Gulf. So we're trying to keep everything local and in the United States. Excellent. Thank you. Do you have an anticipated opening? <laughs> We've had several. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this uh, actually is my eighth restaurant to open. Seven or six were mine. And I've sold them all to take this job, come out here for a new challenge. Uh, however, this is my boss's first. So I'm trying to help guide them through, make this as quick as possible. I'd like to hopefully uh, in the next few weeks be opening for lunch for a soft opening to get my staff trained. And uh, hopefully by tote suck days, we're rock and rolling and having a grand opening. So Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance 02406. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the ordinance for the private club location of Seven Oak of Seven Oaks Steak and Seafood at eleven seventeen Oak Street. Any further discussion? Y'all grade your own beef? Yes. You talking about is it USDA certified? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. They just got their certification. We can cert we can actually sell it worldwide now. 
Uh, well, uh, our, yes, it is. Actually, I cooked for, <laughs> off the record, I, I did a, a Valentine's dinner on Sunday night for somebody's anniversary, and we used our beef, and uh, I have to say it was really tender. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's a limousine <laughs> Angus Cross beef, so it's going to be some of the best you can have, I guarantee you. Excellent. Mr. Garrett. Ms. Mel. Hi. Mr. Hawkins. Yes. Mr. Cummins. Yes. Ms. Isby. Yes. Mr. Ledbetter. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Mr. Grimes. All right. Passes seven to zero. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck. Mr. Hawkins. Next item, Mr. Mayor, is an ordinance appropriating donation funds for the Conway Tree Board. We've received five thousand dollars. And uh, hey, Miss Tucker. Hello. How are you? I'm what doing well. How are all of you? Good. Um, Conway Corp has do donated five thousand dollars, as they are. They typically do that annually. For the tree board for Arbor Day, and I'm asking to appropriate that money. Very good. Question for Ms. Duck? I think I saw they were planning some recently. Yes, yes they were. The tree board, uh, and they're doing a, a giveaway. And I, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact date, but we're doing a, a tree giveaway fairly quickly. Make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance 02407. Second. I have a motion and a second to adopt this ordinance to appropriate $5,000 Conway Tree Board to the Conway Tree Board. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Mr. Hawkins. Yes. Mr. Ledbetter. Yes. Mr. Jones. Yes. Ms. Isby. Yes. Ms. Mel. Aye. Mr. Cummins. Yes. Mr. Grimes. Aye. Passes seven to zero. Thank Mr. You. Hawkins. Next item, Mr. Mayor, is a resolution to approve a lease agreement with the University of Central Arkansas for the Conway Regional Airport. And Jake, I know you're walking. There you are. You are headed this way. Good evening. What can you tell you us? Yeah, um, so this is just to allow them to go into the 40-year lease, just like other corporate hangars out there. Um, they're going to be building a 100 by 100 hangar out there with their classroom. <clears throat> um, they're going to start in March. Um, their airplanes are coming in, and they're going to start their first class March. Fourth, I hope Brad doesn't get mad at me. But I think it's March fourth, like in a month. March yep. 4th? Yeah, they're rock and rolling. So, wow. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's a great deal. Um, they had a ton of uh, people interested in this program. Um, so all this is is just allowing them to go into the 40 year lease with the city. Um, I know I've said this before, but after that 40 years, that hangar goes back to the city, the city property, property, and we can then sublease out, um, just like all those other hangars out there. So. This is a tremendous partnership between the University Conway. of Central Arkansas and Conway Regional, and um, uh, Conway Regional and City of Conway. Uh, thinking Conway Regional Airport. Yeah. One thing that this will help us with is our move to a national airport, which changes the amount of federal funds we get. That's right. So right uh, now we're significantly regional airport. We get around two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year for federal funding. What he's talking about is there's three requirements for that in order for us to go from regional to national. Um, one of those is the instrument flights logged. Um, they're going to be given an instrument class out of our airport. So that's the only thing we're lacking, and that will should bump us up over that threshold. Is there a certain number that have to? Um, it's a couple thousand a year, yes, okay. sir. Yeah, but we're we're not shy from that now. But this will definitely help us get it. Take off some land. Yeah, yeah, it's just filed instrument appraisal. Yes, sir. Dr. Teague did a presentation at Rotary last week that was very informative. Perhaps we could invite him to give to this group. That program, it's, uh, it explains a great deal about what the program and how it's operating. It looks pretty special. Oh, it is. It, it's uh, it's going to be a great partnership. Or it is a good partnership. It's, it's unlike anything around, I can tell you that. It's, you know, they looked at it. We looked at it from different perspectives. And, you know, the majority of these flight schools are four-year degree programs. And this is, you know, I would recommend these students finish college, stuff like that, and eventually the airlines will require you to have a degree at some point. So they move you to kind of finish up, but they don't have to. You, know, you can just come there and get your pilots. You can just go there and get your private. You don't have to finish if you just want to be a pilot. Or if you're already a pilot and want to get your instrument commercial, you can do that. So there's different avenues through this, and they, they really spent their time on it. They've done a good job. Go, Mark. That's what you and me can do. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> get that mustache blowing in the wind a little bit. You know when you buy that. <laughs> well, I appreciate all the work that you've done with UCA, and we appreciate UCA and, uh, and the state working this way. Yeah. Back to you, Council. Make a motion to 
motion for the adoption of the resolution. I have it as article one four eleven. Is that correct? That is correct. Second. I have a motion a second to approve this resolution, approving the lease agreement with uh, UCA in the partnership with the city of Conway. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. That's a seven to zero. Mr. <coughs> Hawkins. Thank you, Jake, for that. I appreciate it. Final item here, Mr. Mayor, is an ordinance appropriating additional funding for the detention ponds project for the Transportation Department. Kurt, good evening. Good evening. Okay, so this is our detention pond project that uh, you know we, we came to you with uh, a few months ago. The, the project is essentially complete. Uh, it was a unit price project where we pay for the actual cubic yards of of excavation removed for the ponds. The good news is we actually, the ponds are bigger than, than what we originally estimated. The bad news is because it is a unit price project, and we have to pay for that additional excavation and that's what this uh, additional $95,000 represents. And it was, again, just based on the original estimates that were used for the bids were lower than what the actual uh, total earthwork amount was when the project was all said and done. Any questions? I know they work, I know they work good. And it, it's going to, the, the ponds are going to, I mean, particularly the one on Catherine Place, I anticipate it's going to be a huge benefit to that community over there. They, they, you know, they've suffered through some pretty regular flooding issues and, and we've still got a couple other things that we're looking at over in that area to try to, you know, provide additional relief for those folks. But these this pond, particularly the one in Catherine Place, should should be a huge benefit to that area. Okay. I know that's where I got a lot of calls from emails from residents in that area <coughs> as well. I'm very thankful. And with that I will make a motion for adoption of this ordinance 02408. Second. I have a motion, a second to approve this ordinance for additional <coughs> funding for the detention pond project for the street department, transportation department. I forget, we've got a new name for you guys. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Ms. Mill? Aye. Pass is seven to zero. Thank, thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Next, we have a public service committee. We have an ordinance appropriating funds for the repair of a portion of the Tucker Creek Trail north of Pompey Park. And we have Mr. Andrew Thames here to tell us about this. Good evening, Council. Hey. So this is an unfortunate one um, where we've just seen some erosion um, along Tucker Creek just north of Pompey and, and uh, between Gatling uh, Park as well. So right here, we're just asking to appropriate um, the amount of where'd you go, $33,400. Um, this will allow Jay's construction to come in, um, put riprap in to where it'll slow the erosion and kind of stabilize that area. Um, and then $15,000 um, as an overlay. They're going to have to drive big machinery around um, on the trail, and that's just the, to repair um, anything that gets messed up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Jay's construction. So we worked with the, the transportation department on this one. Uh, Mr. Reynolds was able to get a hold of them. They've actually built some of our trails in the past. Um, we, you know, hold them to a high standard, and they they meet it every time. Uh, Conway. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're from Conway. Well, Local company. Yep. I'll make a motion for the adoption of 02409. We have a motion and a second to approve this ordinance for repair of a portion of the uh, Tucker Creek Trail north of Pompey Park. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Ms. Mel? Passes is seven to zero. Council, I know you're aware of this. I don't know that everyone at home is. We uh, signed our contract last week uh, to get moving on the uh, Connect Conway Trail. Yay! Yeah. Okay. yeah. Is that connected to the swimming pool? Did you hear me? Yes. 
Yeah, so that was, that was the biggest hurdle. Uh, Robbie and Felicia and Shawana and Jamie, they, they ran around the halls dancing. I guess it's a big thing. <laughs> you got video? I do. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Next up, we have an ordinance appropriating funds for the uh, shade structure at Bainbridge Park uh, hey. for parks recreation. We did this one just for you, Mr. Hawkins. Yeah. <laughs> and Mr. Thames. Yes, sir. So this is a fun one. Um, we're looking to appropriate the amount of $41,470.50 to construct um, shade that'll cover the entire playground. Um, Council, take a look at your ordinance there in Section 2. Uh, correct that amount to $41,470.50, please. It did. <laughs> That's a big number. <laughs> I'll make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance 02410. Second. I have a motion and a second to adopt this ordinance. Uh, appropriate funds for shade structure at Bainbridge Park. And there will be a lot of mothers mm -hmm. and kids happy about that, yes. including my wife. A bunch of people use it. Absolutely. I mean, a bunch of people use it. Absolutely. Mr. Garrett. Ms. Mel. Aye. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Passes seven to zero. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank Next up, we have public safety. We have Chief Harris here, ordinance appropriating fiscal year 2023 funds for the Conway Police Department. Good evening. Hey, Chief. Good evening. Uh, on the first page is just the <clears throat> reimbursement funds for 2023. Basically, the various entities for extra duty insurance proceeds and canine vet reimbursements that we just asked the funds be allocated back into the appropriate accounts. Make a motion for the adoption of the ordinance. So, 2411. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve this ordinance, appropriating fiscal year 2023 funds to the Conway Police Department. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Passes seven to zero. Next, Chief, you're still uh, appropriating funds, ordinance appropriating funds for the Conway Police Department. Yes, sir. Uh, this is from this year, just uh, funds from various extra duty that were reimbursed and asked that they go back into the appropriate account. Motion for this ordinance, 02412. I have a motion and a second to adopt this ordinance uh, for <coughs> appropriating funds for the Conway Police Department. Any further discussion? Mr. Garrett. Mr. Hawkins? Yes. Ms. Mel? Aye. Mr. Grimes? Aye. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. Isby? Yes. Mr. Ledbetter? Yes. Mr. Jones? Yes. Passes seven to zero. Thank you, Chief. Thanks. Council, that's all we have tonight. I'll take a motion Anybody to adjourn. Is there anything else yes. from any of you guys? We are adjourned. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to read this real quick. For, my bad. We're still adjourned. Uh, this is from <laughs> folks that I moved to Conway last year because life made me. Laugh out, LOL. I lived in a city for as long as I can remember and didn't think I wanted to live anywhere this small. Uh, then I moved to Conway. It's poured rain all week, and I forgot to set the trash out on the curb. It was totally my fault, and I thought, dang. <laughs> it didn't run last week because of the ice, and now I missed it. But it was 100% on me and not the city's fault at all. But when I walked out this morning to take Kay to school, it had been picked up. Sanitation literally took the time to get out of their truck, trudge through the mud and in the rain, and pull my trash bin out to the street so they could empty it. What other city does this? Then yesterday, the city's social media posted asking about potholes. The one on our street has gotten huge, but I recognize that we live on a dead-end street, so I figured we were low priority. The following morning, here is Conway filling it with asphalt. I'm really starting to love this place. So uh, sanitation department and street department and really all of our employees, keep up the great work. We appreciate it. Now we're adjourned. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> <laughs>